Ask. Well, hello there and good morning. Well, I'm really excited for the next hour because we've got a brand new supplier to us here at Tachanda. The fabulous Amanda joining us with her wonderful boxes of crochet. Hello, Amanda. Hello. How are you doing? Hi. I'm really good. Very excited to be here. Thank good. You. That's good to hear. Um, and I, I know, obviously, first time on air with us. First time on air ever. Yeah. Other than you do your little kind of your, your little YouTubey bits and I things do. like that. I do yeah. my little um, my little videos in my lounge. Oh, I love <laughs> so it. I'm, I'm just pretending that I'm doing that. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it. We're just a, a kind of extension of your lounge here. Yeah. Yeah. Now, lots of our views, and myself included, they probably warned you, I am incredibly nosy. I'm one of the nosiest presenters here. Um, I'd love to know a little bit about you and how you come to be here with all your fabulous boxes. Oh. Well, I, I started Little Box of Crochet um, in 2015 with my daughter, Jenny and um, she'd been diagnosed with cancer a couple of years before when she was 15 and um, she was doing quite well and we thought we need to earn some money really because <laughs> I was a single mum but I also needed to be at home with her so um, we came up with this idea because at that point nobody was doing it mm -hmm. um, and I thought it was something that I'd love to have imagine a delivery every month of, um, of boxes so um, we set it up and Jenny and I worked together on that all through her illness and n never thinking that it would grow to be what it is. Um, and she died um, when she was 19, three years ago. Um, and I've carried on and really it's helped me carry on. Um, I've sort of buried myself in, in, in a little box of crochet and it's been wonderful. Um, it's a fantastic it. community. Well, this is it. And you were talking about how Jenny was r right the way through her journey, yeah, right towards yeah. the end. She was even crocheting um, yes. for, for homeless people, crocheting hats. Yes, yeah, she was. She was a good girl. She really Aww. was. And she loved her crocheting. So, yeah. Um, and that kind of age girl, kind of referencing my daughter, Phoebe, um, who's mm. 19, which yes. I believe would be yes, a similar exactly. age to, yes. to Jenny when she passed. But yeah. she was creating. Yeah. And Phoebe has really taken pleasure. I mean, crochet's oh. really taken off again it lately. Is. It's not an old lady hobby anymore. That's so true. <laughs> I'm just telling you that. Especially when you see these boxes. Now, we are going to have a little look at these boxes in a few moments. But yeah. the way that it, we kind of described it, you collate um, kind of elements yes. from loads of different crochet designs, yes. many of which a kind of award-winning in magazines yes, and all yes, sorts of things. Yes, we use top crochet designers and that's the starting point really of each box is finding the designer for that particular project. Sometimes I've planned a project um, or, or had an idea and sometimes the designer will bring an idea but that's the starting point and then we look at which yarn we'd like to work with and then once that bit's up and running then I look at all the little complementary bits and bobs to go in and and, and so I'm more of a curator really than anything else. And I love it because if a box would have personality, these boxes have it in oh. abundance and you'll see. Now I'm going to take a, um, our, our viewers through some of the boxes yes. and then if we come back to you, we can perhaps open up one of the boxes yes, and have a little delve. Lovely. Yes, I love that we'll idea. Do that. Now I do urge you to jump ahead on the website though because these boxes are absolutely adorable. Now I need to ha hasten to add that when you're investing in one of these boxes, it's just one of the boxes that you are going for. You're not subscribing. You heard earlier on about the box per month and that kind of idea you're not getting that with these you're just investing in one box but of course then you will have the ability to go on and look at further boxes in the future now we're starting off with the most affordable within the app and this one is everything that you need to make your crocheted bunting I have to say these colours Amanda are such happy oh, colours aren't pure, they gorgeous? Pure beach, aren't they? They're yeah, beautiful yeah. Um, now the style of yarn that we've got is this a cotton weight yarn? Yes it's um, Rika Rumi and it's a non-mercerised um, double knit cotton. So non-mercerised is, is that yeah. why we've, we've not got the shininess yes. to this one? Yes. Okay. Yeah um, and it's brilliant for crocheting. It's brilliant for making amigurumi, which is small 3D like things. The little animal yes. things, yeah. But also the colours and the rikurumi range are just fantastic. So when when the designer and I, um, Eleonora from Coastal Crochet, designed this one, when we um, decided what we were doing, we instantly thought Rika Room is the arm for this one. Now, is this Eleonora? No, no, that's, oh, who's this? that is Emma, who works for Little Box of Crochet, <laughs> and she did the introduction for that one. She's bonkers. Now, with Hi, these Moon. books, each one of the boxes, we'll go back into the contents in just a few moments, but this is quite a hefty book that we've got in here. So, yes. what have we got within here? So, in the booklets, we, 
we have the pattern with a lot of photographs to to support the pattern you know we're really trying to hold your hand through it because um, a lot of patterns don't have any photos you know it's it's really useful being and able to just see step yes as it well. is it is and um, there's a bit of chat in there from either me or Emma um, and sometimes we'll do things like put a recipe in or a little article about something um, the picture you see now is Eleonora who uh, is the designer is that her pooch and that's her pooch Salty oh, who is one of my favorite dogs in the world we are a bit of a sucker for a dog here oh, at Chanda. we do like our yeah. cats as well and all of yeah. them now of course you're going to get that within there but you've got some absolutely beautiful little elements straight away you crochet hook so you yes. can get started yes, you can just grab your box and go love it and then additional little bits and pieces got a lovely little pair of earrings here and a little yes. row marker as well yes so we try and put in things that complement the project and um, with everything in the box we try to buy British as, as much as possible um, and we try and use small um, independent artisan businesses, quite often women, nine times out of ten women owned. So the little earrings are made by um, Cotton Clara who Gorgeous. is a, a, a British woman who's just got the most wonderful business. Beautiful. Um, Lovely. And the stitch markers are made by, um, that one was made by Beth um, from Corrie Clay and she made quite a few for us. Very lovely and you'll see these appearing as the hour progresses. Now if you're wanting your beach bunting then this is the box for you. So it's a 387567. Of course it's saying beach um, bunting but it could be bunting to go in a little bedroom. I know yes. um, that Bob, baby Bob, um, who is one of our director's sons, he's got some amazing bunting in his little nursery. So yeah. a whole scope of different areas you could be using that but if you fancy going for that one the details are there on your screen. But maybe you want something a little larger, maybe for your home decor or maybe you're already into your crochet and you fancy really to get your um, teeth stuck into Ooh, can I yes. show you that I'm going to bring it forward so we can have a look at the gorgeousness of this this is beautiful Aww. we're looking at a mosaic crochet um, design with this one fabulous buttons and all those gorgeous colors these are all included within the, the this box yes they are they um they, there was a lot of yarn in that box and um, it's a quite a complicated technique to look at but actually um, when you when you do it the instructions are so great that you find it's a lot easier than it looks and it's nice as well because sometimes we'll have crochets who are used to kind of crocheting in the round yeah maybe doing yes. granny squares and yeah. maybe working your way through and you want something that's a bit more substantial something to kind of yes. really get into well this box is fabulous for that now this time the yarn is slightly different on this one you can see it's kind of got that sheen yes, to it yes that's mercerized um, cotton it's beautiful and that's by yarn and colors a company we use a lot um, and they're in the Netherlands. Um, we've, you know, we've, we've used them in a lot of boxes because their colours are beautiful, the quality is beautiful. Yeah. Um, yeah. They are, they're lovely. Love that. So, of course, you're going to get those. You're going to get your buttons in there. You're going to, go into, um, get your, love these you little kind of MDF oh, elements here yes, to, for you to put they, your yarn on. They're just for wrapping ribbon round or so little bits pretty. of yarn or, you know, whatever you fancy, embroidery thread. And then again, needless to say, you're going to have your book with this as well. So you'll get introduced to your designer. Um, you'll learn all about, um, not only just the company, but the people who get involved along the way. And there you go. Yes. You can see your project there step by step and this is the lovely lady this is, yes, hannah. this is hannah cross who designed the, co the cushion for us and um, i met her at an awards ceremony and we we were both so nervous <laughs> we, but during somewhere during that evening we um, cooked up a, a project together so, Wonderful. I love it. so there you go if you fancy creating that beautiful cushion then the details are there 37 pounds and 99 pence one seven zero five seven seven now moving on now perhaps you fancy something that you can actually wear we can see here by the side of me we've got this beautiful mannequin featuring this gorgeous piece here this is absolutely beautiful love this you've kind of got some three-dimensional work on this one as well amanda and this reminds me my auntie um, oh it's actually auntie betty my you often hear about my auntie winnie my auntie betty because they were kind of the crocheters in the family that yes. generation and i remember her making baby bl um, blankets for my twins and they had this kind of three-dimensional yes. it's almost like an embossed look looks fabulous it's beautiful isn't it that was designed by greta tull and um, that technique she's using overlay crochet um, 
it's so it's soft. beautiful and you can even if you don't want to have the scarf you can even just make the mandala which is the round mm -hmm. bit on the end and and display it in a in a ring beautiful if you don't want to go for the whole That's scarf handy. i love it now of course you're going to get your yarn can i show you this oh my goodness fiona couldn't help oh. herself at the end of the last hour she just had to come over and have a squeeze yes. <laughs> and it is one of those i mean this is so so soft now it does come with a pattern with the, the obviously with the yarn itself there but you can see here creative um wool with this one the quality is phenomenal with this one it's got yeah. a little bit of your polyacrylic in there so i'm guessing that means we can kind of wash this if yes, we wanted to very, as well it's very um, oh, hard wearing as well yeah Beautiful. it's a good practical yarn um, additional bits and pieces that you're getting in with this particular box things like your little hearts here as you can see all with the little holes in there ready for stitching yes, those we, we decorated those with beads and ribbons and so on we had a we had a little um community crafting session with I those so what the, yeah. what have we got here oh it's one of those things that you snap and it kind of goes warm doesn't yes. it to pop in your pockets it is so you've got your cozy scarf on and when you have to go and watch your kids playing rugby or something you can pop one of those in your pocket and i won't, um, I won't pop it because it will no, activate it, it will yeah so it'll warm yeah, up. you have to put them into hot water don't you i think yes. to, to kind of yeah. uh, stop them again um you've got oh look at that a little bit of sparkle in there little beads featuring in there to obviously go on your hearts Again, yes. you've got the, um, your little um, row counters or your stitch counters, as you can see there. And again, it all comes beautifully packaged within the box. Again, you're going to get your book. Yeah. Which you're obviously going to detail your pattern and everything all the way through here. Now, with this one, I'm looking at, I'm thinking it's slightly more complex. So we're we moving on from yes. beginners with this one. Um, the boxes vary a okay. lot in, in level. But because we give such detailed descriptions of how to do it and we've put lots of photos in, people can really improve their skills oh, okay. as they go along. Yeah. So if somebody joins us or somebody want, likes a project and they want to buy the box, if it is a bit difficult, I always say just put it to one side, improve your skills and come back to it because you, you will be able to do it. Um, people looked at that and thought it was going to be difficult, but actually, it was one of those ones kind yeah. of uh, uh, more it's effective. Than, yeah, it's I confidence, think that's the thing. Really. And I know one of our, our guests here um, often says, just go with a design that you love yes. because that will give you the passion yes. to g give it a go. Yes. Now we've got a mug in the background here. What's this all Ooh, about? Well, the mug, um, that's separate. That's, um, that's a separate item altogether. Oh, this is when you come yes. to check out your basket, yes. isn't it? Yeah. We've yeah. got a couple of little things. So, just to mention to you, we won't be able to find these on. On the website until you come to check out your order but you've got a little mug that you could be adding in no additional postage if you're adding either of these little items into your baskets when you're checking out your order so keep your eyes peeled and of course our call operators will mention those too and this is brilliant because you've got like your project planning book with this one as well so keep your eye open for those but for the time being if you're wanting to create your gorgeous dream catcher sure then the details are there 980621 just 37 pounds and 99 pence now we've got an abundance look at all of these in here <laughs> My goodness, there's a lot of different yarns in here. This is gorgeous. And you've got that gorgeous gold thread running through this yeah. one. Now, these are fabulous. I'm going to show you these. I'm going to put these on top of the box, actually, I think, because these are absolutely amazing. Tell me about these. So this project was designed by Emma Lees, who's, who's part of the family at Little Box of Crochet. She's a, a brilliant designer. And this came about because I went to a trade show in Munich and I saw the new range of yarn by Rico, the new colour range for that season and I absolutely fell in love with these colours. Um, so I spoke to Emma and we came up with this project to, sh to showcase the yarn really. Um, and of course the sparkly bit, I always love a bit I of sparkle. It. And Everyone they actually stack that. as well, so you yeah. can kind of put one within, so for storage if you wanted to pop them away, they could just literally neatly fit in together so they hardly take up any space at all but of course you're learning how to create do we start mm. off um, with it i think it might be the one base. of those ones in the magic circle i think yes, they call it don't yeah. know it draws in really tightly yes. you'll thank you <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> you'll learn how to do that and all these fabulous stitches of course but the key thing is the yarn that you need is all included within this bundle so you don't have to look anywhere else everything that you need 
is in here so uh, in this fabulous box so whether you are creating for yourself or buying this as a gift for somebody i mean how affordable is this 37 pounds and 99 pence you're getting all of your little mini balls of yarn and you know a lovely cotton um weight as you can see there you're also going to get that gorgeous gold oh look at that isn't that beautiful this is just so dimly isn't that yummy i just sit and look at these they're <laughs> yes, so gorgeous i aren't do they? i do so cute that gorgeous gold <laughs> army there you've got um, a wonderful hook here as well which has got a lovely kind of wooden style um handle attached to it as you can see there three and a half mil um, and of course you've got your needle i love the way that you put like the little fe felt ball in there yes, as well that's how we store them so that's that, idea, um, that like you don't that. prick yourself when you open exactly them. um additional little bits and pieces now i love this because you kind of put little quirky bits in yes. as well so you've got yes. your postcard I love this. Look at that little hedgehog there. Love the way his little spines are poking through the blanket. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> we, they, they were designed, that month was designed by Nick Allen, um, a, a lovely artist we use, and she did the notebook and the, um, the postcard for us. And I love this because these, these are elements that you might never have come across. Now you've got your brush pen in here, we've also got some washi tape, so we're kind of crossing into other areas as well. Yes, um, we other always try and crafted. pop a little bit of something in too. So we had a bit of a stationery obsession that month so we put a bit of stationery in Love for that. you and more of those fabulous little um, stitch and row counters there which of course they could be bag charms or whatever you wanted to, yeah. to use those for and of course your inspirational book with this one as well giving you your pattern of course telling you all about the team and here we go is this a designer behind this oh. one another member of the team <laughs> no, that's me with short is hair it? oh my god oh, i have to put my specs on. Gosh, you're, you're like never... me i know i always keep my specs on I the top never of my um... recognize you no, I short went hair. through a short hair phase and who's this little fairy character over here oh well that was george that Aww. was george a cat who came to stay with me for two weeks and, and he was with me when we did the booklet so he had to go Ooh, look at all those fabulous songs just waiting to get yeah. put into boxes there so absolutely fabulous oh look at this now we are going to have a look at how the box arrives because i think this is key as well because it's kind of that experience when you take the lid off yes. but you can't help but go through these and have a look and one thing i'm noticing there as well you've got both uk and us instructions yes. in here which yes, is brilliant we, we use uk instructions in the box but um you were aware that lots of people um, work with us so we give a translation i love that Every of course, month. the beauty is once you've learned how to create those, and there we go, Emma. Emma yeah. is the designer behind these. And do check out the, um, the bio on here because it will tell you a little bit about those different um, designers that you've got in here and how you can kind of follow them and yes. find them. And uh, yeah, oh, look at this. We do love our, our furry friends and our chickens as well. Yes. got a chicken down at the bottom there. Oh. I love it. Fabulous. Now, if you fancy this particular one, it's proven to be a very popular one. The details are there on your screen there. 536400. To be honest, it's worth it just for the cotton itself, regardless of everything else. But the experience that you will get with this, and of course, that tuition with your booklet that is key with this one. You can save £10 with this one as well. So 536400 if you fancy that particular one. Now, we're getting into luxury now with the next set. The reason I say luxury is because the feel of this yarn. I wish you could put your hands through the TV and have a squeeze of this yarn. It's absolutely beautiful. And you can see it's in a twist this time rather than at the ball. Now, this, the quality, I mean, here you go. Look at that. You know you've got quality yarn when you've got foiling on the label. Yes. Don't you? It is. <laughs> it's it's, it's one of those things. It's the quality. It's true. Beautiful. Now, this it's one, we're going to be making the shawl, which I've got here. Oh my goodness. This Lovely, is baby isn't it? soft. Yeah. I'll let you oh. put that on because if I put it on, I'll look like Wurz or Gummidge. Oh, but not at all. <laughs> this is you do beautiful. It. Oh, look at that. I'll pop it on in a moment. I'll just be careful that I don't catch it on my mic, but absolutely gorgeous. And such fine detail. This is, I mean, it, it is. It's almost like, I don't know. I'm going to have a little look at the ball here yeah, um, on this one because it almost got an Angora feel about it. We've got, oh, there you go, Falkland yeah. and, and, and Mulberry Silk. That's yeah. why. That's it's why gorgeous, you've got that. Yeah. It? And that Absolutely was designed beautiful. by Fran Morgan. She's done a beautiful job. Hasn't she just? I love yeah. that hexagon that we've got there as well. Shall I actually put it on? Yeah. We've got a gorgeous little mug as well. I'm going to share this with you as well because I must admit, if it goes missing, you'll know where it's gone. <laughs> Not the scarf because, of course, there's a lot, of t a lot of work gone into this. But isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, it's lovely and warm. This is the kind of thing our Paula would love because yeah. sometimes, especially if you're in an office and you've got a little bit of um, kind of air conditioning, it makes it chilly. Yeah. You just want this perhaps in your drawer ready to pop on. Absolutely. It looks absolutely beautiful. Can I just show you this, though? See, I'm all about these little bits. I like little yeah. gifts, little Aww. surprises. Can I show you this? This is beautiful. Now, you've got a fabulous little candle featuring in here. 
but you've got obviously your little cup afterwards and this is a ceramic muddler I mean this is incredible quality and value I mean this is but you can see there you've got your gorgeous candle in there as well so that is almost like a little gift to yourself so maybe you could be there smuggling yeah. it with I think it's a lovely idea that so but there you go lime and bay leaf as you can see obviously you've got your your wool because we can call it wool because it's uh, the wool content that you've got in there yeah. um, you've got a circular a circular needle um, except it's not really circular is it this particular one it's kind of the, le the length yes. the amount it's of stitches to give you the that length you've got to be able yeah, to you, want, yes. you need to be able to support those stitches because you aren't crocheting and knitting and absolutely is this one this one is just knitting it's isn't knitted, it sorry yes, yes I do apologize yes. so yeah you're knitting a lot, a lot yes. of area with this one isn't it beautiful so soft it really is um, and this one you've got flexi buy on this one so that means if you're going for this one and you're adding in any of the others mm. then you could actually spread the cost so you're only paying 25 pounds today and um, deliver to your door if you're a freedom member isn't that amazing um, you've got your uh, knitting needle there you've got your little row um, counters there as well you've got your kind of almost like your little pin cushion again there for your needle love this idea folding scissors what a clever idea oh they're wonderful they're wonderful they're so good for putting in your project bag and of course they don't poke anything you don't hurt yourself on them but you just pull them sideways go like that and Bob's your uncle you've got a pair of shorts now here is somebody wonderful. who knows how to style out a shawl who's this that we've got on the cover here <laughs> oh that's Katie so Katie is brilliant Katie Peshka she does all our layout and our artwork and our photography so we send everything to her and she does all the styling so it was great because it was a wearable item we actually got photographs of Katie in there um, she's been with us from the beginning I don't know what we do without her she's Aww. part of the family you know she's she's fabulous so Aww. and I love the way that it's such a team effort and everybody gets yeah, involved it really is absolutely beautiful and there again read up on the designers because yes. there are many of these and I love this here I taught myself to crochet and this is is it Fran this is Fran Morgan so, um, so she designs knitwear and crochet okay um, she's fantastic at both in fact I'm at the moment I'm crocheting one of her um, jumpers so she's great at but both. this is the thing yeah. that astounds me I mean as a novice crocheter mm. auntie Jean I told you my, my auntie's coming I've got an auntie Jean as well she used to do a lot of crochet uh, she used to do those little dolls you know that oh, go on yes. the toilet rolls yeah. um, and here it all started when my mother taught me to knit I think I was about six or seven um, at the time and it yeah. gives you kind of a little bit of a bio there on front but this is a bit that I found most interesting for anybody that's watching and you're thinking oh there's no way I can achieve anything like that look at that line there I taught myself to crochet mm. and that is the thing I taught mm. myself to sew from good books yes. Yes, and that's the can. key thing if you've got the tuition and the information there yes. then you really can become quite an accomplished crocheter with regard to this or hooker and as I've known yes. sometimes they're yes. called <laughs> happy hookers happy hookers I love that <laughs> and YouTube YouTube's a great resource as well. Um, you know, if you if you're working on a pattern and you get stuck, go on YouTube and see if you it's can find well, um, yeah. some help on there. That's it. And you I know Amanda will. gives lots of support via your kind of network yes. as well, oh, which we'll yes, chat about gosh, in a little while. Absolutely. <laughs> now seven five zero nine three one two flexi buys will get you this gorgeous little box of co um, knitting on this occasion. There's a lot within that box as well, so there's nothing little about the contents. Now, can I introduce you to my little friend? Look at this adorable little buddy. Oh, this is beautiful. Now, this is our little spring bunny. Oh, how cute is this? Oh, my goodness, so soft. You can see the fluffiness there, aren't you? Oh, oh he's stroke. got Angora and Mohair Angora, and that'll everything be why, in there. Yeah. <laughs> now, with regards to your yarn, if you know your yarn, and, and even if you don't know your yarn, I'm sure you will have come across this brand name, Rowan. I mean, Rowan, it is like you yeah. are knitting or crocheting with a cloud, isn't yes, it, when you're working it with Rowan? It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous, as you can see there, that gorgeous kind of kid mohair there, really, really soft. So you are going to get obviously that within there in the variety of your different colours that you're going to need. Yes, like, and actually, sorry to interrupt you, I've just realised I said Angora, it isn't Angora, it's um, mohair silk. Beautiful. Yes. Well, I wasn't too sure, because obviously I didn't yes. look at all of them. So. <laughs> sorry but about that. Fair. Oh, so soft. Um, again, little elements here just to make it that kind of little happy box when it arrives. I think that's the key thing, these additional little bits and pieces. So again, you've got your markers there for your rows. Um, you've got obviously your safety eyes. Now with regards to this one, um, obviously safety eyes and children, sometimes we get a little bit nervous about yes. these. So yes. obviously be aware of yes. the kind of the, um, the 
the information that's out there with regards to those. But to, to be honest, it's not the, not really the sort of toy that you play with, is it? It's, it's just one that yeah. looks cute. And if, if you did want to give it to a baby, what we always recommend is use black embroidery thread instead that's of, a good of idea, the eyes. Yes. And then it's Embroider the eyes yeah. instead. Yeah. Clever idea, like that one. Um, you're also going to get a little lapel but, um, pin as well. Have a look at this. Keeping oh, that theme I going. I love that so much. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Absolutely yeah. beautiful. And of course, you are going to get your books and everything. Oh, we've got a little embroidery kit in here as well. It's a yes. little project. Yes, we do like to pop little kits in sometimes because it gives people a chance to try something, a different craft other than knitting or crochet, that they maybe wouldn't normally go out and buy a kit. It's just a little taster. And then if you like it, um, you can carry on and do more. Now, our little bunny there is not one. Oh, we've just got... Oh, sorry. Do you oh, know we haven't named him don't. yet? He's not got a name. No, he hasn't. <gasps> oh, no. Maybe this is the moment. You will have opened the floodgates now with that <laughs> simple sentence there. Um, All so suggestions, very welcome. There you go. You heard Amanda say it. So uh, as you are emailing, I know many of you are emailing in and welcoming Amanda to us here at Chanda. Then oh. let's see if we can find a little name for this little character. Don't know with this little boy bunny or a little girl bunny. You can decide. Absolutely adorable. But you can see that in love. <laughs> Look at that. Gorgeous. Um, needless to say, you are going to get your full instructions. I'm not going to go through the book and everything because I think we've spent enough time looking at this little character. I want to know what's in these boxes and how it feels when you get these boxes home. 398873. Talking of which, if you are watching and you are a fan of Amanda's already and you have been receiving your boxes already, then do let us know about the experience. What have you found within these boxes? Um, we can keep it between ourselves. I shan't let Amanda know. Um, but let us know what sort of feeling <laughs> do you get? What sort of things did you have in your boxes? Because this is just scratching the surface of the little box of crochet and of course that is the beauty of this it's going to grow and grow and grow but we of course that first box will get home to you it'll be delivered and then you've got the joy of opening it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hand over to amanda if that's okay and i noticed yeah. you've got the little box there with the bunting in is that the first one that we're going to have a little look at yes we can so well, it's just to the side just... of there i think we've already placed it on the oh, tip of the counter there i'm looking everywhere <laughs> sorry girls okay. and boys now the boxes, straight away, the boxes are quality to start I'm with. I'm rushing in. I'm going to actually go back and just talk about the box a little bit. Our boxes are made in Dorset in Britain, which I'm very proud of, um, by a company called NewNet. So um, we're really pleased about that because so often things are coming in from um, the Far East or, you know, I like to support British businesses. So I love this. And the artwork was done by Katie Peshka, who you saw a little bit earlier. So they arrive um, nicely packaged. This one's got a little bit rumpled, obviously, on the way here. but um, And they're all packed at a lovely place in Rochdale, um, a company called Nucleus, who've been with me from the beginning as well. And again, they're part of the Little Box of Crochet family, and they just do such a good job. So um, we're really pleased to work with them. So. As you know, this box was designed by Eleonora from um, Coastal Crochet. And um, when you receive your box, it comes in a brown mailing box so that it's very protected. So we very rarely get a squashed box, but obviously if you ever did get a squashed box, let us know. Um, so you've seen the stitch markers by Beth at Corrie Clay. Um, we use a few different people to do our stitch markers and all British female owned businesses. Um, this box is a vegan box, which a lot of ours are because we use cotton a lot. Um, so we have a lot of vegan people buying our boxes. And if ever we're going to put wool in, we try and offer a, a substitute yarn so that um, so that vegan people can do it as well. We can't always, but we try to. And the Rika Rumi, um, Rika Rumi non mercerized DK, which you've already uh, seen. Tell me why you chose this particular yarn to pop in this box. Well, one of the reasons was that we thought people might like to hang this outside. Okay. And we wanted a yarn that would cope well with that, which I can vouch for because mine has hung outside. Oh, lovely. For, um, for all through last summer. Um, and I'm so sorry I haven't got it here with me today. We couldn't find it. Um, 
I don't know what I've done with it, but That's um, okay. don't you've worry. got the photo anyway. You can well, see it's the, very well, this beautiful. This is the thing because within the book, it really does show you literally yes. step by step. So if you've yes. not crocheted before, I mean, is this a nice one perhaps for somebody? Uh, maybe you're teaching a child to crochet. Yes. Because I'm guessing with this, you, you're learning things mm. like increasing. Yes. Because obviously, I, I don't know whether you start off from the, the top or the bottom, but yes. you're learning about adding on or taking off your stitches you are, with these. You are, and it's um, it's a very good basic. A, a box for a beginner um, because the basic stitch is just very simple as Hayley says you learn how to increase and decrease um, and then you've got the fun part of making the little decorations that go on it so um, yeah I think it's a great one for like a beginner that. and some of the bunting you can see from the covers there it's, obviously you've got your different color changes in there so again that's something else that you're going to learn so if you're just getting yes. started with your crochet um, or wanted to then I think this is a brilliant one because you're kind of learning all the fundamentals there you yes. learn about casting on um, perhaps you've stitched in the round before you've done your magic circles and you've done your granny squares and that kind of thing and yet you don't necessarily want to have more of that because you've mastered that yeah this is going to take you into working with crochet yes. in rows which is a little bit different to work Work with but it's something that's manageable at a very affordable price yes this is one of our smaller boxes um, which we used to do and we went on to the bigger box so with very few of these little ones left so they're a treat I love it there you go so if you fancy getting hold of your box then the details are there on your screen 387 567 18 pounds and 99 pence so I'm gonna let um, um, that or Anna is gonna pack that one away for us but we're gonna have a little look at some others Anna Amanda I do apologize is gonna put some of the um, put that away and we're gonna have a little look potentially at the b little um, baskets because this is proving to be one of the most popular ones in this hour what you've got within this one is the ability to make your stacking box um, little baskets as you can see here now obviously I'll take you through all the yarn and everything that we've got in a few moments but have a little look they're going from the largest there as you can see right the way through to your little tiny dinky ones now I'm thinking you're going to be able to recreate these once you've got the knowledge of how you can start with these so you can see the base of these you've kind of got your little magic circle many of you will have worked with those to start with creating that lovely tight center as you can see for the bottom but then what you can make with these is the different sizes that bring them together like so and they literally pop one inside the other so what a fabulous idea idea now with these absolutely amazing the kids that we're sharing with you at the moment you can only actually get them through Hachanda so do bear that in mind as well but you are getting all of this yarn within here and I'm going to move that little gold lame one out of the way just to show you so we're getting where am I five nine ten fifteen balls of yarn within this one yeah. my goodness sixteen including the gold well this is what I was thinking yeah. there it's no wonder that over half the stock has gone of this one. <laughs> now, I know lots of you have got, you popped it into your basket. You get to check your baskets out, so do make sure you do it as quick as you can. The reason being is there's lots of you gone for this at the same time. And what can sometimes happen, and I totally get it, you having a look at all the different bundles and you're popping them into your basket and you just want to see everything before you commit yourself to your order. What we often find is that people will do that all at the same point. Now, you may well have put it in your basket at the first opportunity, but if you are the last person to check out your basket, then all of a sudden you see this huge surge and it can be that the stock that we've got goes in a heartbeat. The reason I'm saying is that is that is because the stock that we have is all that we've got we haven't got any more that we're able to bring to you so if everybody checks out at the same time somebody is going to be the last one mm -hmm. and that last person could potentially miss out on this one so that's why you need to get those details in your basket but more importantly check those baskets out 37 pounds and 99 pence 16 balls of yarn I mean that's worth it for that in its entirety to be honest but then you are getting some additional bits and pieces so obviously you're going to get your hook so you can get started straight away of course if you already have um, a hook I think this one's a three and a half mil if I remember rightly then do gift that to somebody Get yeah. somebody else um, hooked in crocheting. Did you see what I did there? There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> um, and then here you've got your fabulous little hedgehog with his little prickly sweater on or his blanket around in there. You're also going to get some additional bits and pieces like your washi tape and your row counters. And you're also going to get your instructions. We did have a little look at that one. So what we've got here, a little notebook is this that we've yes, got? Yes, it is. Yes, we do we pop a little notebook in every month. Um, Isn't that cute? It's, it's just great to have somewhere to um, make notes or if Oops. you're all notebooked out, gift it, pop it in a, in a present. Well, it's nice it and it is an really extra. cute because you yeah. have got the ability there to kind of jot things down, whatever you choose. We're getting mm. loads of emails in from you guys as well, welcoming Amanda oh, to us here at the channel. So we'll pass oh, those on to lovely. Amanda afterwards. So. <laughs> now, many people have been ordering this one. So when we get our box home, what will we yes. find? Well, first of all, you'll have your beautiful 
your beautiful box designed by Katie. And then on these bigger boxes, look, could I get any bigger with that label? I don't That's know what amazing. happened. I mean, just I look at this. Imagine this, imagine this landing on your doorstep. You'd be looking forward to receiving this, oh, won't you? It's a, do you know, I get one every month and um, I, I feel like a, just an ordinary person opening it. It's not as if I've made it or seen everything in you it. You know what's going to be in there. I know what's <laughs> going to be in there and I still get like a giddy kipper opening it. Um, you get you you great booklet obviously as, as Hayley said um, one of the things that I wanted to tell you was the hooks um, lately we've gone over to wooden hooks because we're trying to cut out the plastic so um, we're trying out lots of different wooden hooks and this one is a big favorite so um, we're just trying to cut down on the plastic and we're winning you know, we're, um, I, I feel really, the boxes used to come wrapped in individual plastic wrappers and we've stopped all that. Can I so, just mention yeah, as well, I mean, I, I, I mention I'm not an accomplished um, crocheter, I, I can do a little bit of crochet. One thing that I notice, because you're holding that hook in your hand for quite yes, a while, yes. I love the flatness yes. of this and the wood makes it, I, I wouldn't like to say warm in your hand, but it I is, inherited it's very a, um, tactile. I had a lot yes. of my mum's old um, crochet hooks, which were all metal, right yes. the way through the handle. Oh. And they're much finer than that, they're literally only the width of the yes. hook. And they're just, you, yeah. you're having to hold it that tight. People get repetitive strain syndrome using the very slim hooks. I mean, some people have used them for years and swear by them, but on the whole, people find these um, ergonomic hooks much more comfortable and um, it does warm in your hand yeah. and it's very light. You hardly I love know them. it's there. I love them, we've had a really good response with these. Fabulous. So, um, we've, as I say, we try different ones all the time and we have found one that is a, a polymer one, um, not polymer, what's the other word? Acrylic. Not acrylic one. <laughs> Thank you, Hayley. You're welcome, that's what I'm here that, for. That um, is recyclable, it's recycled and recyclable, okay. so if you see one of those in your box, don't panic because it's it's a good thing. That's the thing that I love, the thought that goes to. through each one of these boxes. Yeah. So what else do I get? Oh, you get all your lovely yarn, look at all that. As Hayley says, 16 balls of Rika Rumi, it's delicious. Um, this box is just bursting at the seams really when you open it it's it is it's full and you'll find with a lot of these projects when you've made them you've got a lot of yarn left over and on Instagram we see a lot of things that people make with their leftover yarn which is fun there's one lady who's actually it. made a blanket with all her leftovers. Well, this is what I'm thinking, because when you look at these, the, yeah, you've got a, a lot of content. Obviously, you've got your different um, size baskets that you're making, yes. but there's a, a lot within that box yes, there. there. And is. can I just comment on how beautifully packaged they are? Somebody oh, has packed you. this, and they've put a lot yes. of care and thought into the arrangement. It's not just been thrown in and no, a sticker whopped on top, It's a it? real person. Sue at, at um, Nucleus packs our boxes. Now, Hello, um, Sue. Thank I'm sorry you. to interrupt, Amanda. Uh, yet again I, I know I do it all the time but this time it's really important we're down to single figures with regards to these boxes oh. over 80 percent of the stock has gone so if you're wanting this one don't forget we've only got one show with Amanda today because she's going to be back she'll be bringing her gorgeous boxes yet again I know because you've all been loving these and the details are on your screen so if you are wanting this particular one it's now gone green on your screen so it is limited in stock it is going to sell out so whether we'll manage to get to the bottom of the box before we do so I don't know so <laughs> Anything else that you wanted to add about that box? I just want to show you these beautiful little stitch markers. Let me think where I can put them where they show. Look at this little toadstool. Isn't that beautiful? And that's made by Chapel View Crafts. Again, a, a British lady. Um, working oh. away there. And you must have so much fun finding these little oh, elements. Oh, I do, I do. I yeah. really enjoy it, using, just using small businesses like ours, you it's, know. And it's nice, there's so much thought is in the whole process. Um, you'll have noticed it's gone red on your screen there, folks. So, yeah, sadly, this box has sold so uh, sold out. So we haven't got any more of these um, left. So, yeah, we're going to have to move on to another box in a few moments. In fact, we're going to be looking at, um, I think it's our little bunny rabbit friend in the moment. I don't know if we've had any names come through yet, but I'll find in a few moments we've had lots of people emailing in so i'll share some of those with you as we have a little look at this character here now we've had loads of emails in amanda who's been emailing in 
Karen. She's been welcoming um, Amanda and saying what a wonderful oh. collection. Exactly. That's exactly oh, what we've got here. A wonderful you, collection. Thank you. <laughs> and we will make sure that all of your emails coming through are going to go to, um, uh, obviously, through to Amanda because it's important as well. Anthea's been in touch as well. Oh. Uh, she just wanted to, to give you a big, massive... Hachanda, welcome. Oh. And what, it was a massive, and then it paused then. Hachanda, welcome. There you go. Thank you, so, Anthea. Thank you. <laughs> it's like filling the gap. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. And we're all thrilled. We're thrilled as well. And you can't, I can't believe that Amanda, the first time that she actually stood in front of a, a, a camera was this morning before we came on air, um, and she got herself ready, learning kind of all the little bits and pieces. You'd never know. She's just settled in so beautifully. And I could <laughs> sit and listen to it all day. I haven't got the giggles yet. Oh, no, you do really well. Don't worry. Now, have a look at this. Can I just show you? I mean, this shows you the quality. When you look at the drape of this, this is absolutely beautiful. We are talking the highest quality with regards to the yarns here. Love the colour tones that we've got. Now, whether you are making this for yourself or you are making it for a gift, this is going to be a piece that every single stitch that you knit with this one, because this one is knitting rather than crochet, is going to be knitted with love. The yarn, oops, a daisy. Can I just draw attention to this? This is, I mean, look at that. That is quality when you've got gold foiling on a band. <laughs> And this one, so how, how come you chose this particular one then? Well, it's made by West Yorkshire Spinners, who I love working with. And this um, is kind of in your neck of the woods, isn't it? It is, yeah. exactly, yeah. You couldn't, you couldn't get um, more local. They do beautiful yarns and they use um, the sheep, British sheep, they spin, they dye. Um, they you mean wonderful. There, aren't, there aren't these kind of powder blue sheep running around Yorkshire? Oh, we are. are disappointed. There are. There are. <laughs> yes. I love it. I'm going to visit tomorrow. <laughs> In my eyes. And ro uh, rosy ones. Oh. Rosy coloured ones. But it's just. Um, so yeah, soft. I wanted the shawl to be luxurious. Yeah. And they just brought out. Um, the, the four ply weight of that particular yarn, which was perfect for a shawl. So I went for it. And because it's a summer shawl, I just wanted it to be very light, something you can just pop on on a chilly evening, you yes. know, without anything being scratchy or heavy. And it's um, lovely because if, if you wanted to put it in a bag, I mean, I, I like the mm. fact that you could be popping it in a yes. drawer at work. I mean, it's absolutely yeah. beautiful there. You wouldn't get any work done. You'd just be snuggling, but there you go. Yeah. Um, but it's something that quite easily you could be taking yes. with you. And, of course, yeah. the colour tone that you've got is going to work with anything. It doesn't yes. matter what you're wearing at the time. And, again, I mean, as a baby shawl, I think this would be beautiful oh, to create. Be because it's one of those oh. ones that would be perfect for a baby. <gasps> I never thought of that. that well, yeah, because I'm thinking, well, I'm just thinking a baby. <sighs> But then oh, when the baby be becomes a little toddler and gets a little chilly, then yeah. in, the blank, in, the, in the little push chair, then again. And then again, listening to stories, sitting on yeah. um, somebody's knee, auntie, grandma or mum or whoever, um, wrapped up in this. And then, of course, when they become yeah. a little girl and they're wearing it in the summer oh. with their little summer dresses, this is an heirloom piece right it the is. way through to when that little child um, actually has family of her own, potentially, and then yeah. it will become an heirloom piece. So you're not just knitting for yourself or the next person that you're creating, in this for this is something that's an heirloom piece just like the, the little blankets that i've got that uh, my auntie betty created for my twins so absolutely Aww. beautiful can i show you this as well this is a self-indulgence gift. I think this is fabulous. And again, what Amanda does is she sources the most incredible pieces, things that you didn't know you needed until you got them. Oh, yes, absolutely. And I love this. As you can see here, you've got your lime and bay leaf um, candle featuring within here. So you, you've got all that gorgeous time that you can have that candle lit there. Wonderful little ceramic mug here yes, as well. Yes, I mean, and it's quality. such a lovely colour, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And it's just the nice size. Nice size for maybe hot chocolate. You can get plenty of swirled cream on top of that, can't yes. you? Oh, yeah. Dunkability, you could get a good biscuit in there. Good size biscuit. <laughs> there you go. So you're going to get that in there. You're also going to get, obviously, your yarn as well. You're going to get your knitting needle, as you can see there, which is a kind of it's extending. We call it a circular needle because often they can be used for knitting on the round. But because you've got such a length of stitches, you need the support. So that's what you've got with those. Again, fabulous quality with regards to your wood needles. Then you've got your little theme running with this one. So you've got your little postcard. And you'll see postcards appear in many, many of these little projects here, which is just lovely. It's a little nod to um, your... Um, 
kind of the, the ethos and the, notice how it fa uh, kind of matches perfectly with the packaging as well and alongside this one you've got a little book here so it's like a little planner it could be a project book it could be if you're into your planning or your journaling or your doodling then you could of course um, use that you could even pop it if you've got one of our um, you know like the Lou Withers dies where you can create your covers you could always slot that in couldn't you that signature could pop into whatever you've got and of course you have got your instructions included within this one as well and of course a little design inspiration there and it's kind of that you when, when the box arrives I know it's, it's probably going to sound a bit daft and a bit kind of hairy fairy but when the box arrives it's like your friends have arrived as well yeah because you kind of got that that grouping of people that have it got is. involved so much with this yeah. And, and yeah I it's think a very very strong community it's a lo little lovely box feel of crochet. About it. and there's a lot of people chatting to each other online saying oh my box arrived today and and then the ladies in America saying oh mine's not here yet and, and they want oh. to see sneak peeks some people don't want to but some people want to see sneak peeks so um, it is a lovely community. I love it. Now, obviously, we're talking about the boxes which are exclusive to us here at Achandra at the moment. But yes. in the future, people will be able to find out more and subscribe to boxes. Yes. These aren't subscriptions, incidentally. We keep mentioning the fact on a monthly yeah. basis. These aren't subscription boxes. You're investing in one box. But I think what you will do is go and visit Amanda's website and be able to see more and perhaps start subscribing to those. Now, the details on your screen are that lovely sure. But I think we're going to have a little, um, a little look at the box that arrives when your little bunny arrives. Who's still? <laughs> He's waiting for a name. <laughs> I might have to find a name for him all of my own if we're not careful. So yes. the box, I mean, the colours of this box, oh, I beautiful. Oh, I love this box. I do. I just, look, it's got a gold bottom. <laughs> we all need a gold bottom, don't oh, we? Oh, yes. I love this one. So this box, you'll notice, look what happens when I press on the top. It's oh, my so goodness, full it's lifting up. That when we were packing them, when they were going into their cardboard outers, we had to sit on them. <laughs> to get them into the mailers. <laughs> it's like when you go on holiday, isn't it? You have to sit on the case. It's just so springy. <laughs> so when, when you receive this and you open your cardboard outer, then it'll all Ooh. fly out. And the reason is, look, oh you get a goodness. cloud. So stuffing, obviously. Our bunny, our nameless bunny, does need stuffing. Um, so what's in the box? Well, in this one, we've got... Um, one of Nick Allen's beautiful postcards, and we've put a little squirrel in to keep the bunny company. We're feeling very, um, very woodlandy with this box and a notebook. Pattern for um, nameless bunny. We've got to get him a name quick. Well, this haven't way, we? his name's going to be nameless, which isn't the yes, most attractive a name. That's not good. Um, but we've still got a little bit of time, so if you fancy emailing and you've got any suggestions for this little bunny rabbit that we've got here, help us out. Aww. And this was designed by Claire Garland, who's Aww. very, very clever. She, um, she knits and designs all sorts of creatures. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So very detailed instructions there. Um, my, my hope is that when you open these, you're just going to feel really spoilt and delighted. When Jenny and I first thought of it, delight was the word that we, um, we was in our minds uppermost, that we wanted you to be delighted. Um, and I think people are. You know, it's it, it is special. Lots of yarn. I look at this these. row and yarn is row so and yarn beautiful. Is such a luxury. It is. Yeah. They're just a, and again, they're a Yorkshire company. Um, Kid Silk Haze is a Rowan classic. It's the most beautiful. Oh, soft, 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 <laughs> soft silk it's like mohair. You, it's like you're knitting with a cloud. It is. And then we needed something more substantial, obviously, mm -hmm. to, to give Bunny his body. I am calling him he. Well, yeah, you could be either. Oh, yeah. So Alpaca Classic is in there, giving it a bit more substance. But again, very, very soft. And look at these lovely colours. Oh, oh, sorry, Bunny. They're so beautiful. He's actually um, a Dutch rabbit, apparently. So oh, okay. and this is one of the colour colour colourway. You shouldn't really say a rabbit has a colourway, should you? <laughs> one of the colourways of Dutch rabbits, this cinnamony sort oh. of colour. And it's kind of the the, the shape and the, the size, yes. very compact little rabbits yes. as well. Yeah. Beautiful. He is. Um just very quickly as well, lots of you've been adding goodies into your basket and you haven't checked your baskets out, so some of those items have fallen out. Now, I will warn you because of course we did sell out those baskets earlier on. I was about to tell you that some had fallen out of people's baskets, if you excuse the pun. But fortunately they picked them back up and checked out 
their orders. That can happen in a heartbeat, as I've mentioned before. So if there's something that you've popped in your basket and you really want to be getting hold of it, you need to check those baskets out because everybody checked out at the same time with the baskets and you saw just how quickly they went. I'm going to throw a little name into the mix for our little rabbit. I'm going to oh. call um, him, she, her, I don't know, Marshmallow. Oh, because oh, that kind of works. Nice. But I don't know, can anybody improve <gasps> on marshmallow? That is nice. Because it's very because much a feel. It's unisex. We've got all sorts of bunny names coming in now. You're going to be oh, inundated. I like We've got marshmallow. Keep that? them coming. Bloom. Bloom. Flower. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a bit. That would be a bit close to home, wouldn't it? Oh yes, of course, because Amanda's name, Amanda Bloom, of course, yeah. That's, I could that's get what confused. you do. Yeah. I could get Bunny confused, Bloom. but that was clever. <laughs> I like that. Um, Florence has all sorts of wonderful names. Little Bramwell as well as a little name there that's coming Aww. through. So plenty for you to choose from, I think, how Amanda. Lovely. So there's loads how and loads. Lovely. So thank you for all those coming through. So again, I mean, once you finish and you've created, you've got that fabulous storage box as well. Yes. That's the key thing. Yes. And this is a wonderful box for you to use. It could be i mean it's a good size box i'm thinking things like nail polishes would fit in here afterwards if you wanted to store things absolutely. in there or project box absolutely. for when you're working with other things we we actually um i can't remember which box it's in but in one of these boxes we've put a little set of labels with with our sort of brand on um and we do it every now and then okay so that people can stick it on the end of the box just you know on there or oh, here yes. and then that way you can write on it nail polish, yeah. crochet hooks. Yeah, um, good idea, like that. No end of bits and bobs. Well, they're the kind of boxes that you'd have out on display as well, wouldn't they? Yeah. Um, now, I have to tell you about one of the other kits that's proved to be very popular as well. So just as we're packing, packing that box away, we've only got about four minutes all le um, so left. See, I did warn you, didn't I, Amanda, that the time would fly quickly. Um, now, have a look at this. This one is a beautiful one to work with. Again, um, on this occasion, you crochet, you are learning to crochet, or you are going to um, continue crocheting um, in that, um, rows, as you can see. And it's beautiful because you've got this gorgeous kind of closure on the side here that you can be able to create. The buttons are included within your kit, your box as well, so don't worry about that. But if I flip that over, you've got a totally different look. Yeah. And I like this idea because it is almost like changing your furniture. Yeah. My mum used to do that. She'd move the furniture around and change it yeah. to get a different look on a room. And you can do that with a cushion yeah. as well, can't you? Yeah, I, I sort of think there's a summer and an autumn side there. Yes, yeah. You know, it gets Beautiful a bit as well. dark in the we autumn. We look fabulous within a, um, a, a, some, like a conservatory or something yes. like that. Yeah. Obviously, you're going to get all your yarn, your gorgeous yarn in there, your buttons and everything. But what's the box like when we get the box? Because oh. it's beautiful to start with. So, beautiful box. Again, um, Katie Peshka does the artwork for us and New Net make them. And I love it because there's a slight vacuum thing when, when you take the lid off. It does a little... And going in through the crazily big label... And the tissue as well. You know yes. you've got quality when there's tissue. Yes. And we try and make the tissue sort of um, complement the project. So if we're doing a Christmassy box, we'll use gold tissue, which oh, I love. Fabulous. I love. So a bigger notebook in this box. And we decided to do dots. I don't know if you can see. Oh, but these yes, pages like, are yes. dotted so that you could make that into a bullet journal. Because one of my little friends has started bullet journaling. And, and I thought, oh, she'd like that. Um, booklet with all the bits and bobs in. Um, we have a gallery of gorgeousness at the back so that you can see people's past makes. Um, detailed That's instructions. A third of the stock of this box, incidentally, folks, has gone now as well. Oh, this is a box with the little labels in. Oh, that okay. You can so put, this what you were um, talking about earlier. Yeah, so oh. you can just pop those on the end of your box and write on them, you know, what's in there. Um, we've put some needle threaders in here because don't you find as you get older you're struggling to, <laughs> to thread your needles oh, unlike this. So, <laughs> so um, yes, needle threaders and um, oh, the bodkin's fallen out of there, but there is a little bodkin for you in the um, in the felt ball. Some beautiful stitch markers. Fabulous. I love watching people unboxing their, their little box of crochet oh, or knitting. Oh, little paper bag as and well. And they, um, they put them online. You know, you can go and see, <coughs> see people now, unboxing This is something them. that I, I forgot to ask you. Social media-wise, how can yes. we find you? How can we follow you? You mentioned Instagram. Oh, we're on Instagram a lot. Um, at, it's just at Little Box of Crochet. Um, and we've got a fantastic community on there. And on Facebook at Little Box of Crochet, again, a lovely community. We all help each other. If someone's not sure about something, 
Before I can answer, someone else has gone and answered for me. It's brilliant. Um, ah. And these, these little winders here. So the, the business really has grown around um, Instagram and Facebook. We don't Lovely. particularly advertise. Um, we, we're down to the last minute of the hour can you believe that time has gone so quick and there you are look at that in the bottom of the so box there all those gorgeous all yarns. lovely yarn my feeling was a sort of faded summer you know that bleachy summer feeling when and it's nice because this particular so set it's, it's not it's non-generic it's, it's not mm. a specific male theme it's not a specific no, female theme. No. just very tonal and i think that um, cushion will sit beautifully in any home to yeah. be honest whichever size you, you choose to go for and of course don't forget you've got so much within these boxes you may well find that you've got some left over so you could be making yes. like a little cro um, uh, kind of like coaster yes. style um, to work with us well. people making coasters and things with well you did it amanda you got through that first hour with us here with the <gasps> that it? that's it pretty much oh, it we're down to the last few oh, seconds so rubbish i kept Look what's not there. at all. You anyway. were so nervous, but wasn't oh. she fabulous? So we will see you again back here. I am <laughs> sure of that. Um, yeah, thank fashion. you for all your fabulous emails, all your little bunny names as well. Anything in your basket there now is the time for you to check out. Um, we find regularly people will leave it to the last minute, the end of the hour to check out. So I know there's going to be a lot of people there. So if you are on the phone lines and you're placing your order, do bear with us, but do check out online if you can do it. And Amanda, thank you so much again. It's been a pleasure. Look forward to working with you again. Oh, um, stay tuned. We've got lots more coming up here at Chanda. I will see you a little bit later on.